there. It's Lisa from Tinker Creek Designs and I wanted to pop on do a little painting project. I've been uh, waiting for about a week to do this project and I'm really excited about it. Um, it's finally Saturday and so I have just a little bit of time and I thought I would do this. Um, I picked up this crocheted angel at a local thrift shop and I just think she's beautiful. But um, she did have a few stains on her, and so she's not pristine white. But I thought um, a little bit of paint might work wonders with this uh, beauty. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, this is um, crocheted, and I believe um, that whoever made this um, put, you know, starch on it to make it nice and stiff. And so uh, she'll stand up. I want to paint her and then she can be on top of a tree or uh, I actually bought two of these and I've already done one um, and I thought she would be uh, pretty. Um, I could put one on each side of the mantle or I could put it on a tree. In my dining room I have a lot of white and, I, and, and a lot of blue so I thought she would be pretty on my white and blue tree. But um, this is what I want to do. I have brought her home. I sanitized her. Uh, I've left her sitting out. I think she is perfectly safe to touch her as well as I can uh, think to do it. Um, and I bought some Color Shift Gloss Finish. Um, this one's called White Color Shift. Um, it's made by Folk Art. And so it's a kind of a pearlescent white. It changes color just a little bit. As you look at it in different directions, you can see different shades. I'm thinking uh, with the with the other ornaments, it might pick up a little of the blue. And then, y'all, this one is a paint. It is just the name of it makes me smile. It's called Glitterific. Glitterific. Yeah, I'm loving this. So, um, I have Glitterific. And obviously, I like glitter. You can even see the glitter in my uh, fingernails. Of course, I got some extra paint on my hands right now. So, you have to overlook that. But, um, I'm going to do a little bit of the white paint and put it on her. And really, I'm using a, a sponge brush. I've got some um, parchment paper here on my dining room table. And I'm really just painting over her. And this is going to work out so nicely. And I'm going to do the coat, just a light coat with the sponge brush of the white paint. And this is just going to clean her up. It's going to make her look really nice. I'm going to be able to get rid of the dark stains that are on her. And I'll be able to... Um, make a white beautiful white dress out of this and so I think she's gonna look lovely I hope she does I looks like my family then so uh, peeking in so I'm doing the white here I'll go check on them just a second they've been out working uh, today on an extra project and I've got a little extra work to do today but I love to take Saturdays um, just for at least a little while and do some fun crafts or fun paint and you know uh, white paint just like a beautiful snowstorm is transformational and so the places where there was just a little bit of a stain um, you may be able to see on the back of this there was some discoloration around her waistband I don't know the real term for that but soon that will be beautiful and white no one will ever know um, except those of you watching all this video, that she ever had any other color other than white. So um, I'm putting a little more of the white on my um, parchment paper here. This protects my tablecloth because I am kind of a messy painter. And this is, um, this is not even taxing. It's just kind of relaxing just to put this white paint on. And, and like I said, when we put, the, um, put her on a tree, or if we sit her over one of those um, like small battery operated um, candles and really have her light up, oh, she'll be so pretty. And so I'm just putting a nice coat on to make her white all over. I just want her to look pristine again. And like around her uh, halo, this will be all white. Um, I'll hold her up to the camera so you can get a little bit better shot. Um, but you can see it's just a matter of putting this nice clear, I mean, nice coat of fresh white paint and it's um, sticking nicely to the starched 
um, yarn that she's made of. And even over her halo, it's just a matter of brushing that on. And I believe she's going to look beautiful. Um, I'm doing that where the, um, the thread was tied, where it looks sort of like her uh, hair. And then this is her little sweet face. And just a little of that pearlescent paint there too. And across her hair. She's going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. Uh, I think she's going to look so nice. Thanksgiving is next week. Lots to be thankful for. But, um, thinking ahead to Christmas. And like I said, I picked her up at a thrift store. I paid 49 cents for her. And honestly, I think she's going to turn out to be so beautiful. Um, you know, the paints... I believe I got them each for less than $2 a bottle. I've been able to do two of these angels. So I do not do, typically do not do expensive projects. I like to um, go into the thrift stops, thrift stores, and I like to find inexpensive items that can be transformed. That the shape is there, the design is there, and I love to find things that I can paint because if I can put a little bit of paint, paint's inexpensive and like I said, it's transformational. I was really thinking about putting some purple on her because purple is my favorite color. Um, but I think um, this glitterific paint is holographic. So honestly, when light hits it a certain way, it can pick up all sorts of colors. So I know that there will be a little bit of blue. There is another little, well, let's see. It was just a tiny little bit of a brown um, stain. So I'm making sure that is all nice and painted white. You can see she is really turning out white. Now, I use acrylic paints because I'm messy and I get this all over my um, fingernails. And so that was my son, Garrett. So I get this all over my fingernails, but because it is acrylic, it just washes off. Um, so I do like to have nice nails. <laughs> That's my one girly thing I do in a house full of men. Is um, I try to keep my nails done. and uh, But I'm a messy painter. So I have to use acrylics so that I can. Something that's water soluble. So that I can just clean everything with water. I know you can wear gloves. And you can do those types of things. I am just not. I'm not patient. So that's an extra step I don't like to do. Uh, I am messy, I know it, so I do uh, put something down to protect my furniture or floors. Okay, so she is lovely and white everywhere, including her halo. And I've gotten her out of the screen, I see. So she's lovely and white. Uh, this is just an inexpensive foam brush, painting her like that. Now. I'm putting this glitterific holographic paint. There are big chunks of glitter in there. And so I want to like put this in areas that will really get hit by the light. So um, plus I also think it can kind of make her look like an ice princess. Can you see where I'm putting just a little heavier coat? like on her shoulders. I'm gonna put a very heavy coat on her halo, on the front and the back of it. And y'all, when this dries, it's just gonna add to the stiffening that the, um, it'll just add to the stiffening that the starch had done. But there is the beautiful Glitter. I'll try to take a picture of her when she is completely dry with some light on there so that you can see her. And whenever I get her ready for um, Christmas in a couple of months, of course, I'm, I usually will try to decorate right after uh, Thanksgiving. I'll be able to uh, show you guys a picture of what she looks like. But I'll put a picture of her up with this video so that you can see the finished project. But it's really such a quick, easy thing. 
I saw her in the thrift store. In our town, it was the um, Salvation Army. I love to go in there. I love their mission. And um, when my husband and I were very first married, um, we lived in a mobile home and we had not been married very long and our mobile home burned and it was the Salvation Army who they were right there they came they tried to help us uh, they made sure we had a place to stay that evening um, they helped us just with some basic supplies to help us get started again so um, I like to try to support them I think they always try to support others there's lots of wonderful charities. They just have a special place in my heart because years and years ago, when my husband and I were first married, they helped us, and I have never forgotten that. And so um, when I see the folks um, ringing the bells, and there was a couple of sweet little children outside of our local Hobby Lobby this morning, makes me smile to think of where the change that you put into those um into those um, Christmas buckets, what they're able to do, how they're able to help people. So I do like them. I think uh, that they're helpful and they help people in need a lot of time. So um, I do, I do like them. So now she has a coat of beautiful white paint over her. She also has that holographic. Um, Paint. I'm gonna let it dry. If I see a place that is not 100%, uh, then I can go back and touch her up. I had this at my house and I've gotten a lot of paint on it. Uh, but this is a glow in the dark glitter. It's white, it's very fine like sand. And so I am going to put this, I'm gonna try to show you that one. But yeah, it's just white. It also is uh, very icy colored, but it's very fine probably finer than sand. And while this paint is wet, I'm trying to get a good bit on the edges because I believe she'll, it will stick, but it's one of my favorite things to do. I like to put just a little in my hand and then just go, you know, a little kiss of uh, glitter. It's a wonderful thing. Sprinkle it over, try to get all these. You know, it's going in the dark. I'm excited to see what that's even gonna look like with the light. But, you know, she was 49 cents. Someone had, would have discarded her, put her in the Salvation Army, uh, and our Salvation Army thrift store had her for sale, and she was kind of just buried in a bin with other discarded type items. But I love her. I love the white. Uh, I'm gonna make sure pieces of my brush do not stick on her. I love these little foam brushes, but you do have to be careful that you don't get pieces of them coming off. Another kiss of glitter. Got just a little bit left in my hands. Put her on there like that. I think she's going to be beautiful. She is wet. Uh, the inside is not. But she's very shiny. She's very white. I wish I had a little bit better light in here. I think you would see her. I can tell that she's already starting to glisten. I think she is going to be beautiful on my mantle or on top of one of my <laughs> Christmas trees. I really like her. I hope you guys do too. I share these things because I hope it gets you to uh, maybe explore uh, a local thrift shop. Uh, excuse me, a thrift shop. And I hope it gets you playing with color, playing with glitter. Come on, people. Come play with a little glitter. Have some fun. I like to play with glitter. It makes me smile. So these are some things making me smile today. Um, some color shift white paint um, by Folk Art some glitterific. You gotta smile when you say glitterific. That's pretty cool. I like that. And then just some uh, glow-in-the-dark white glitter. It's fun. And this is my messy hands, but they got messy doing something I enjoy. It's doing something I love. And soap is cheap. And I'm gonna go use some and clean up and get this clean while she dries. And then I'll post a picture of her on um, my YouTube video. If you if you like this type of video, if you like inexpensive crafts, if you like bling, hello, if you like just a little fun with some paint and glitter, you'll probably like my channel. So I hope you will follow me. 
I'm Lisa from Tinker Creek Designs. Please go to YouTube, look up Tinker Creek Designs. I would appreciate it if you would actually hit the subscribe button. And you can also find me on Facebook. I'm on Facebook at Tinker Creek Designs. Please like me there. Um, if you have a friend uh, who likes to do crafts, you know, maybe they would be interested in my uh, little quick videos. Um, I do some painting. Uh, I like to do some painting tips. I like to do inexpensive crafts. I try to pop on at least once a week and do a devotional uh, because um, I love the Lord. I believe the Lord's blessed me and I hope he blesses each of you and I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend. And from Tinker Creek Designs to all of you, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Bye.